Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. I'm here with my second mega happy planner, Miss Andromeda. And because it is the beginning of the month, we're in November. I can't believe it. Because it's November, I'm going to be flipping through and sharing with you my mega happy planner setup and all the spreads I did for the last four weeks, the month of October and setting up this planner for the month of November. So if you're interested in seeing my mega happy planner setup and for last month and then the setup for the upcoming month um, in this Franken planner, which I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. I have eight different planner sections in here. So I have eight. Uh, happy planners franken plant into this one planner if you're interested in seeing how i set it up just keep on watching hi everyone it's your girl daniela and at this very moment some construction started up outside my window and the noise was so loud that i was unable to keep the footage or i mean the um the audio for this video so i'm gonna go ahead and try to do a voiceover and hopefully it works out so wish me luck let's do this so i'm just gonna flip through um, my planner here show you what i've been up to in it and um, anything that's gonna stay in the planner for the month of november i'm just gonna show you and flip through it but um, I'll, I'll switch up things that I decide I don't want to take into this new month. So there's my yearly calendar, my folders, my sticky note dashboard, and my wellness pages. Those are all things I'm going to keep. And then we go into my first section, which is my spirituality section. I am keeping my Aztec and Moon calendar. And then this is the October monthly calendar view and the October weekly spreads. And I have here just my super cute dashboard bookmark that I'm gonna pop out um, so I can take out the pages. But this uh, this is a dashboard from a Mickey Mouse planner and I love it so much. It's so good for spirituality there. This is the planner that these pages come from. So I'm just gonna pop in the month of October back into the planner and take out the month of November. I love that divider. It's so cute. It has a lot of color on it and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that into the planner. And then I'm going to paper clip the monthly overview to the scrapbook divider so that way I don't have that random uh, week weekly spread or weekly view um, in the middle of the planner. These paper clips are wonderful. They're so good to uh, help the transitions in your planner. So there we have the blank uh, pages for the month of November. I'm going to pop in the uh, bookmark there. And then we get into my next section, which is my YouTube section, my social media planner. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm kind of tired of the uh, scrapbook divider there. It's kind of like a pastel Halloween theme. And since we're past Halloween um, and I just got this super cute paper pad with a bunch of um, Thanksgiving and uh, general fall uh, de decorative scrapbook paper, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, just make a new divider from one of these from some of these pages here so i'm just looking through it and trying to figure out what exactly i want to use so i'm going to end up going ahead with this dark green decorative um, scrapbook paper and i'm going to use that divider that i had previously to kind of measure it and cut it and here i'm just cutting it with my um i forget what the paper cutter is called but you can get it at michael's and joann's I'm going to go ahead and punch it and then I really liked the this particular scrapbook paper which had the four different designs on it and something that I like to do is whenever a scrapbook pad comes with these kind of like smaller designs I'll go ahead and cut them to size and then I'll layer one over like a larger scrapbook paper so I'm going to grab that welcome fall design there and duct tape and um, duct tape it adhesive tape it 
to the green scrapbook paper and that way it's kind of this like fun layered design. I love how it turned out so I'm going to go ahead and put that into my planner to divide my spirituality section from my social media for lizard section and I'm going to go ahead and take out the um, pages for October in this section. I use a color block vertical planner for this particular section and it's from the um, Jungle Vibes color block planner from the Happy Planner. So I'm going to go pop that back into the planner, pull out the month of November, which is a super cute um, design with the tigers on the front. I love it. And I'll paper clip the monthly overview to the scrapbook paper and pop in that month. And I'm loving how it's looking so far. So there we have all the blank pages for November. I'm going to add the bookmark back in to the current week. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the next planner section here. But first I'm going to make sure that the paper clips are on on the previous monthly scrapbook divider. So again, just flipping through the pages and we're going to get into, let's see, what am I doing here? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just looking um through the planner but i'm gonna pull off the paper clips on the next section and again i'm tired of that uh, of the pastel halloween prints um, halloween is past so i think i'm okay with letting go of that little cute little ghost divider and i really liked this particular scrapbook paper so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it to size here and make a new divider that's a little bit more just general fall and more appropriate to the Thanksgiving season. And once it's cut to size, I'm going to go ahead and punch the divider. and pop that back into my planner and I love how it looks. I'm a huge fan. And the next planner section is my mindfulness section. So I'm just flipping through it, showing you everything that I've done in this particular planner. I use a fitness style a happy planner. And this is my mindfulness and meditation planner. It's my mental health planner. So I keep track of like meditation and mindfulness sessions and just any notes I'm taking about uh, mindfulness because I tend to read a book on mindfulness um, kind of in parallel to writing, uh, keeping this journal. And those pages are from that particular planner that I just showed. Um, although I, it's kind of, it's kind of confusing because I kind of switched the planner around or the planner cover around and I have a different planner cover on the actual planner that these pages come from, if that makes any sense. But I'm just returning those pages to the planner, pulling out the month of November, and I have my November overview there. I'm going to paper clip that to the scrapbook divider, and I'm excited to get into this planner because this planner is all about my mental health. It's, I also use it as a mood tracker. It helps me to kind of um, take a deep breath and kind of unwind, unplug, and remember to um, just be still. And then this next planner here is my journal and I like to journal in it, uh, you know, just my general thoughts. I also like to kind of memory keep in it. So that monthly calendar view that I showed was I'm trying to write just, you know, uh, something every single day in the monthly calendar view to kind of just keep track of my life and, and keep a log of what's happening in my life. And so I'm just popping in the pages back into the planner it came from. So I use a horizontal planner for this section. And the planner that the pages come from is the Pressed Florals Horizontal Planner. I love this planner so much. It's gorgeous. And again, I'm going to go in and grab some scrapbook paper from the this planner, or this planner, the scrapbook pad. And I'm going to make another um, another divider. So I'm just kind of testing out what exactly I want to use. I'm kind of um, uh, putting this little uh, smaller paper design on the, some of the scrapbook backgrounds to see exactly what I want. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure this, uh, measure the scrapbook paper and cut it to size. 
So now I just fast forwarded it to where I actually just have it cut to size and I've pasted the little design there and that is going to be the divider. So now I'm just paper clipping that to the November overview um, that starts off my journal here and I love that divider and here are all the blank pages and then the next section is my memory keeper section. So this is my social section so anything that has to do with anyone that I'm doing anything with friends or family goes into the section here. It's a little bit different from my journal section because my journal section is more about like me and what I'm doing and my social memory um, keeper section is about what I'm doing with other people. Sometimes they can get a little bit redundant, but um, usually not. So I'm fine with having two planners for the two separate things. And actually what I'm doing for this planner section, and because I haven't, um, uh, I haven't really journaled in that section very much, I still need to uh, kind of like back plan or like uh, memory keep and so I'm just going to leave the month of October in there because I still want to work in it. So I'm just going to add the month of November into the planner without taking out the previous month. And that's fine with me because um, I don't mind having a thicker planner and I do want to keep it in there. So I remember to keep up with the memory keeping. And for the next planner section, this is my reading journal, and this divider has been bugging me for so long because I just popped this random sticker onto the divider cover because I felt like it was very appropriate. It says read more books on it, and this is my reading journal section, but I just don't like how the black sticker looks on the pastel leaves, and so I, I've just been hating that divider since I popped that sticker on it, and so I um, finally was able to change it up. I was so happy with um, with changing up that that section. So here I am looking for like scrapbook paper to use as the divider and I'm playing around with using maybe this pumpkin cover a scrapbook piece of paper as kind of like a layering technique again. Uh, I decide to not I end up deciding not to use it so let me just skip forward to where I pick my paper. So like I said I decide not to use that little uh, piece of scrapbook paper and I just pick this scrapbook paper which has these beautiful gourds on it and I'm just going to cut it to size again using this previously cut divider. So I'm cutting it and I'm going to punch it um, and get it into my planner. So I'm popping it into my planner here. I think it looks so cute. And then I get into my head to make a little a decorative cover or a decorative divider for this particular section. I really want to kind of um, like make it very like reading themed. And so I'm going into my bibliophile antiquarian sticker book that I got recently. And this book is perfect for fall. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some... Uh, stickers. Uh, they have a lot of letter stickers in this book, so I'm going to write fall reading journal or use stickers to write out fall and then use stamps to write out reading journal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here and I'm going to go ahead and cut to um, where I actually start, you know, putting down the stickers. So here I am pulling some more stickers to write out fall here. I really love how it turned out with the different types of stickers. And I'm just looking around for more stickers to use in this particular spread. I decide to go with this girl in a chair reading her book because she looks so cozy. And I'm just going to play around with where I want to put her. I finally decide to put her there on the right hand side and then I'm going to go ahead and pull for my stamps and I'm going to stamp out a reading journal um, just there in the empty space under fall. And that took forever. I had to uh, speed that up quite a bit so that this video wasn't super long. Now that that is done with, I'm gonna go ahead and wait, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm adding the bookmark, the bookmark for my mental health and my uh, journal section because I forgot to put those back in. And then I'm going to flip back 
to um oh i'm figuring i'm wondering why some of my pages are sticking and i think i just had some like sticky adhesive uh, randomly on a page but anyways i'm gonna go back to my reading section i'm just kind of flipping through my pages making sure everything's in order go back to my reading journal and i have been struggling with trying to figure out how to format my reading journal so i'm just kind of like flipping through it kind of trying to get a sense of what i want to do with this section at first, I kind of wanted to step away from the traditional weekly format and um, just kind of do this more as like a bullet journal style. And then I decide I kind of don't want to do that. I want to go back to the uh, weekly format where I try to write in my planner every day or every other day. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the pages from October. And at first, I was going to keep some pages from um, October in there so I could write in it. I ended up deciding just to take them out um, completely and just put in the fresh month of November and just start kind of on a blank slate. So I'm just here just trying to figure out what exactly I, what I want to do, how I want to format um, this particular section. I end up deciding to put that black sticker that I peeled up from the divider onto the November monthly overview. I thought that would be a cool place to put it. And then I decide to peel up those stickers from that previous week spread and introduce them to the first week of November here because again, like I said, I kind of wanted to start with a blank slate. And I didn't want to hold any pages from October in the reading journal because I kind of set up my October reading journal to be like each weekly spread was um, reflective of one book that I was currently reading and I decided I didn't really like that. Um, I wanted to go back to the weekly format where I do try to journal every day or every other day a sentence or two about like my thoughts on whatever it is I'm reading and I really liked those stickers that I used on the weekly spread. Um, last month and I wanted to kind of um, just reuse them and bring them into this week so that's what I'm doing here and then I went into the um, the planner that these pages are are from and I pulled out this divider that I really really liked and I want to kind of like keep it as like a permanent fixture in my planner in my reading journal section so I went ahead and kind of trimmed the divider off of it and I'm going to um, put some scrapbook paper on the back of it so that we don't have like a random a blank page there. And I'm just going to pop it into my reading journal for a bit of a decorative touch. And then on the back of it, again, I'm going to reach for my Antiquarian Bibliophilia sticker book. And I'm just going to go ahead and decorate that back cover or that back scrapbook paper um, with some stickers, with some bookish stickers, just to give, um, again, more of a decorative touch. So I pull for this um, quote sticker that's really really cute um, I love these stickers so much I end up deciding to go with the book sticker and this girl um, reading a book in her chair and I just pop them down and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of a gothic arch on the top of the book quote and a little skull in a jar next to the girl under her foot. I love those like old Victorian, um, gothic, um, I believe it's called like dark academic kind of vibes. I love that. I love that aesthetic. So I kind of wanted to go for that in this page. And I thought it would be super cute to add this little, the sticker of this little rabbit in a chair reading a book as well. Um, again, just the bookish themes. And we have that all set up there. And I still have like plans to do some more things in this reading journal. I kind of want to add like a, a scrapbook paper. And then every time I finish a book, like add a picture of the book to the scrapbook paper. I was thinking about where I wanted to put that here. Um, but I still have more plans for this section. And then we're going to get into my last section here, which is my Japanese section. Uh, but before I get into that, I'm going to add the bookmark in. And then I'm going to pull out this um, scrapbook paper because, again, like I'm a bit over the pastel Halloween uh, theme. And so I'm just going to go in and find some scrapbook paper here to add a, a, another divider. And I'm going to cut it to size, punch it, and pop it back in.
and I have been on such a hiatus with my Japanese.、Um, I was so good about writing in this planner for the majority of the year, but since August,、um, like end of August, I've just completely dropped the ball with this. And September and October, I took two months off. I'm gonna keep the months of September, October, and add the month of November in as well because it motivates me to want to get back to Japanese. The more like I feel like I am quote unquote behind, I don't feel behind. Let me get that straight. Um, but I like to kind of put pressure on myself. Um. In a good way, in in a healthy way, <laughs> and having all those beautiful like planner pages in there really motivates me to try to get back to it. And thankfully, because a lot of deadlines, um, I had a lot of deadlines like wrap up and finish at the beginning of November. I definitely feel like I'm gonna have more time now, um, as we kind of end the year, um, to get back into my Japanese. So I just added those pages in there.、Uh, I didn't really have much to do in that section besides add the month of November, and change that divider. So the next thing I'm gonna do,、um, I was just flipping through my planner, making sure that I wanted that everything was kind of in the right place, and I decided that I wanted to go ahead and switch up my sticky note dashboard. And I'm just looking at my calendar pages, trying to decide what I want to do with those. And I also decided to take out that scrapbook paper with the pumpkins on it because, again, I'm kind of getting rid of all the pastel Halloween、um, in this particular planner and changing it to more of a Thanksgiving,、um, general fall type、uh, vibes. I end up deciding to use this super cute、um, gold foil argyle print or hound's tooth print, I believe this is called. And I'm gonna use that for my sticky note dashboard. So I'm gonna cut it to size here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all of my sticky notes to this、uh, scrapbook paper.、Um, and yeah, I actually was super annoyed at my previous sticky note dashboard. I felt like the stick、uh, the sticky notes weren't really well、um, kind of like laid out on that. Paper because I wanted to kind of keep the little ghost、um, girl in the corner there visible, and so I didn't want to cover her up. But then I kind of lost some real estate on the、uh, scrapbook paper, and also the fact that I can't really see the ghost girl completely, and she's kind of covered up still. It always annoyed me, so I'm kind of I was really happy to.、Um, To redo this sticky note dashboard, and I really love how I ended up designing it and making it,、um, formatting it. And I also added another sticky note. I added this little、um, oasis sticky note、um, that there at the bottom between the little cactus、uh, sticky note and the rilakkuma sticky note.、Um, I really liked how it turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to where I actually finish、uh, formatting all these. Okay, so I got them all、um, glued onto the page, and I can pop it back into my planner there. And、um, what else am I gonna do here? I decided that I wanted to kind of add another scrapbook divider there between my folders and my wellness pages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look for another scrapbook divider. Or I'm gonna look for the scrapbook paper that I can use for this section and、uh, cut it to size and punch it. I ended up wanting to go with this Thanksgiving、uh, scrapbook paper, and yeah, so there we go. I'm just gonna add the bookmark in there, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I still want to add like scrapbook paper to the back of that so that it's not just、um, kind of white on the back. So I decided to、uh, reach for this scrapbook paper here, and cut that to size, and then paste it.、Um, On the back,、uh, and then add it because I just don't like having just like blank white paper in my planner. I think it looks kind of unfinished. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and that is the last thing that I did before I wrapped this video up.、Um, I'm really happy with how my planner looks now. I'm really excited to、uh, to set up all of my November spreads. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come support me.、Um, let me know how you felt about this voiceover. I might do them again if y'all like them more than the real time videos. So let me know.